the Revenant Caves. Every Iron Man's worst nightmare. Insanely low drop rates, lots of collection log slots, and PKers waiting around every corner to ruin your day. Today, I'm going to be venturing into the caves, but with one big difference. I'm an extreme one chunk Iron Man. For this reason, my access to weapons, armor, potions, and food are all hugely limited. But I'm confident that we. <coughs> no one brings a bag of shit to a pub. Your dad does. Does he? Yeah. You. <laughs> Brilliant. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. <laughs> yeah, my bad for not knowing that you could go in through the north of uh, Alcarid. I genuinely thought that you had to pay the 10 GP to go through the gate, but we can't change that now. Um, if you're ever, and I feel like I say this every video, but it's only because the videos keep getting better and better and better. If you're ever going to like and comment and subscribe, this is the video to do it because this video is not only a Goliath, as you can see by the time of it, but also the best video that I've made in terms of what is achieved and just sort of huge moments for the account. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, I'll let you get into the clips. So in the last video, we obviously rolled the Revenant Caves, leaving us with a thousand plus hour grind and a whole long list of... Uh, of collection log slots and levels to get. So main ones on this list are Crossbow, Theremin Scepter, Vigorous Chain Mace, 89 Agility and 87 Fletching. The rest of these should kind of come with getting those. Um, but yeah, this is where we're left off and this is the list that we're ticking off against. Also, pay close attention throughout this video because I'm going to be giving away 1 billion GP to someone who can source me a silver bar within my chunks. There is level 60 range on the account. I'm unsure, but I think this might be the first clip that I'm opening up the uh, episode with. There is quite a lot of stuff in the bank that I need to show you that I've got from drops uh, from Revenants in the last however long. Uh, basically the weekend's worth on mobile because I've not been recording on mobile but we've gone crazy we've gone absolutely crazy at the Revenants we've killed that I was gonna say absolutely thousands of them but definitely not thousands of them probably uh, 2,000 of them ish but we have got some cool stuff in the bank to show you so I'll get back to you with that soon <laughs> lol <laughs> I literally logged in that's my second kill what <laughs> that's very funny okay uh so let's go and bank that it's only the 500k one but it will do we'll take those i think that's a one in sixteen thousand uh drop from the goblins so it would be nice to have something better but i can put it in to match i'll put the bank pin in i can put it in to match the one mil emblem that i already got so I got that off screen while I was on mobile. That's the one million, uh, one million coin one. Um, and obviously got that one last episode, the eight mil one. But I also quite crucially got the dragon med helm. So the reason why that's quite bizarre that I got that is I'm doing these revenants sculled pretty much all the time. So we're on 2200 kills pretty much all sculpt oh we got the ancient crystal as well did you guys see that already oh there it is <laughs> yeah we got the ancient crystal as well so i've been doing pretty much all of these revenants sculpt however you can't get the dragon med helm unless you're unsculpt you literally cannot get it unless you're unsculpt and if you're unsculpt it's a one in 2.5k and my skull went off mid goblin kill i got the kill like one of the first times i've ever even noticed that i got a kill unsculpt and got the Dragon Med Helm first kill. It was nuts. I was losing it on the sofa. Um, but that's really important because that's actually one of our best in slot items for the chunk. That is our new best in slot helm. Um, so it's really nice to have that. Good defense. Obviously, I'm not going to get 60 defense until probably like the last thing in the chunk. So I want to keep my combat level as low as possible. It's been pretty amazing 
having a low combat level here. I think I've died once, and that was on, and I've done most of the kills so far because it's been the weekend on mobile, where you know running away from PKs is an utterly miserable experience. But it's actually really easy not to get killed here. So not only am I really close to the entrance, which is a blessing, but this agility shortcut here is 65. And I sort of assumed I'd need 75 to get away from PKs over here. Most of the shit tier level 70 PKs that attack me here don't even have 65 agility. So I just hop over there and I'm away. And I bring I bring this food. I can get all the loot in the looting bags. I've still got like, you know, 40 slots for for looting and I'm just chillaxing it's fucking great like I'm barely dying even on mobile it's really easy so yeah we'll stick we'll stick with this for a while I'm gonna do the goblins till we get a rev weapon and then I'm thinking if I just move to the orcs there once I get a crossbow or a figura's chain mace then I can do exactly the same thing and just escape to the to the north to the 75s or to the south for the 65 so yeah Getting that really high agility level in like the second episode or whatever is really, really reaping dividends right now. Because even if they teleblock me, which they often do, I just hop across the pillar and they can't get me. It's great. Like if I got teleblocks on this account and I had to run out this way, it'd just be a death sentence. But I'm laughing because the high agility is so good. Because uh, you should see their little faces. I can almost see it through the screen when I just walk away and they cannot do anything it is great speaking of which here we go let's see if this guy's got 65 has he see ya bitch <laughs> there we go see that literally happened two seconds after recording i love it so funny that they literally and it takes them so long to run around i just hot worlds and can't get killed Amazing. How good is that? Teleblock. Five minute teleblock. Death sentence. No, not for me. Oh, with 60 agility, we are now able to hit nines with uh, with steel arrows, which is class because we're only hitting eights before. Um, That's very nice. That means we're going to kill the... Uh, 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 God, can't talk. Each extra max hit here is actually massive as well because they regen health only below 50%. Um, each extra max hit that you can hit is just actually worth way more than it looks like it is. So the kills per hour increases by a lot more than the DPS per second increases, if that makes sense. I'm sure that someone far cleverer than I could actually put some maths together to show how the kills per hour increases kind of exponentially with the DPS per hour. So we'll see. We'll see if someone will put that together for me in the comments. That would be nice. Oh, oh I'm watching a Limpert stream if you can hear that. Ancient Crystal number two. That is uh, really useless for us, but two out of four now. So if, I mean, we're almost certainly going to get all four of them before we finish this chunk. So if that works out, that would be very bloody nice. Um, because if we ever get construction, it'd be really cool to have a wilderness obelisk in our house. But uh, that is Ancient Crystal number two and some other drops beside. I also didn't realise it, but I got the Rune Kite Shield as well, which is a best in slot item in the chunk and I can actually equip it. So pretty cool to have a decent shield now. I think, what did we have before that? We must have had just the Mithril Square. So Rune Kite is pretty cool. Going. We're getting cleared right now by some dick. This guy actually looks kind of stacked though. Uh, right up the mage. Hope he doesn't have 65. I think we're alright. <laughs> told you. The 65 agility is fucking goated. And if he comes in any further, I can just like I would just keep going around to the 75 over here. Oh, I love that. It's so nice, honestly. Honestly. Easy game. This is this is just a bizarre one. I guess I'll uh I I guess I'll actually bother to go and get my uh go and get my anglerfish before escaping from this guy. Oh my god, get in the bin. Ah, oh, this is one of the single worst PK attempts I've ever seen. Let's look up this guy, see if he's got the 65 agility. No, he's got about 11 agility, so we're all good on that. 
And I'll see you later, pal. What a waste of my and everyone else's time. So I've equipped Mithril Arrows and I'm now going to be 61 range and I believe at 61 range I'll be able to hit 10s with Mithril Arrows. So how exciting is that going to be? 61 range, so time to see if those level 10s are a myth or not. Um, for some reason the calculator I was using was also giving me that I'd hit 10s at level 60 and I wasn't. So... Uh, <laughs> Who knows what the accuracy of that is, but that magical 40 XP drop will be a thing of beauty if it occurs. So, yeah, no, my max hit is still 9. So the DPS calculator is all right. I reckon it's probably picking me up on accurate is probably why. Oh, here we go. This guy actually looks like a decent level. Is it? No, still can't do it. Rip, bozo. <laughs> oh, I love that. I will never, ever get bored of getting away from these losers. Sorry, I shouldn't slag off big cats like that. They're not losers. They're just doing whatever. But, you know, from my perspective as the hunted, you know, what what do you think a gazelle thinks of a tiger, right? Jingy's like, oh, I respect his need to eat. Or Jingy's like, fuck you, tiger, you're a cunt. Probably that. So, big news, everyone. I believe, now that we're in the Revenant chunk, there is a very decent chance that I can actually do splashing now. So, uh, if I grab... Uh, what's it? That, 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 uh, and that. And my staff, I believe. Oh, I need, and then what I actually need is the van braces. With this stuff equipped, I believe I should be minus 65. I am. So I believe with that, I can now do some splashing. So. Shall we give it a go? Probably. So here we go. Let's see what kind of XP per hour we can get with it. I'm hoping that I can set up my computer in such a way as that this rotates or I hold the space bar down or something and I could technically, potentially do a six hour splashing session, but we shall see. Okay, so I've been away from the computer for 31 minutes-ish, and we were still, <laughs> still attacking. So yeah, safe to say six hour splashing is back and in a big way. So I'm going to be doing this probably every night from now on until we get, well, I don't, I don't really have a limit now because I've got unlimited cash to buy runes with, and... You know, a higher magic level is always going to be better than not, so might as well just get stuck in. I need at least 60 to equip the Theramon Scepter, but I mean, if I get one of those, it'd be good to use it with a decent magic level, because I think the ma max hit goes up with magic level. So yeah, I'll just keep sending magic for six hours every night. That's so good. 62 range coming in. Hopefully... I want to get 70 and then get the crossbow at like exactly 70. I feel like that'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a little double upgrade of a crossbow plus plus black dehyde all at, all at once. That'd be lovely. Well, I've just got back from a meal out with the wife and kids. Uh, safe to say that six hour splashing definitely works because we've been logged in for four hours and 20 minutes just splashing and we're nearly at 59 magic which is a pretty big level um i'm about to go to bed so i'm going to re-log and do another six hours uh, but i'm going to go need to buy some runes first so i'll go and do that now but yeah interesting to this works I, I realized if i just do this each night for six hours i'll get 99 magic in about four or five months which is probably about how long this chunk is going to take me. So, I mean, it cost me, what, 13 mil in cash, which I've pretty much already got from the emblems that I have. So do I want to just end this chunk with a free 99 magic? Kind of. <laughs> so it's probably worth doing, really, considering it's basically free and takes no extra time on top of doing the series normally. Um, but yeah, time to go buy some extra room. Oh, just while doing some Alks to get uh, some extra GP, I got 59 magic, which is level Fire Blast, I believe. Very cool. So, 60 magic was achieved last night, which is a good thing, because it is the level that we need for the Tharamon's 
scepter when we get it. So yeah, that's another chunk goal ticked off. Main thing we need to do now is actually just go out and get a load of weapons. Oh, here we go again. 73 combat, ghostly robes. Hard to say, really. Uh, are we going to get away? Right, definitely swapped into the staff there. Okay. Easy. Oh, he's got the level! Oh no, could be in trouble here. Okay, we're going to hope he's not got 75. No! Oh, fuck's sake. Auto retaliate, it's kind of pogging me here. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's got the level. But... <laughs> I just need to make sure he doesn't kill me before I can run off. Okay, right, we're good. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that was the most nerve-wracking one yet. <laughs> My God. He had, uh, that 33 through prayer with the Dragon Bolts was wild. I mean, that is, that's rough. Okay, <laughs> I think we'll have to bank up for that. That was actually quite nerve-wracking. Oh, here we go again. Okay, what's his most dangerous style? Probably mage. I don't think this... He's got venom, which is a lot. Imagine risking this much on a pure to kill me. Embarrassing. Uh, can we get away? Yeah, not even got the 65, mate. Weak. Weak. Get get down to the Falador course, pal. It's pathetic. I'll tell you what, though. The venom is particularly annoying because that's just like an insta-bank. It's so annoying when you get poisoned or venomed because you have to bank regardless if you just escaped straight away. Oh, go on then. One mil totem. It's not a collection log slot, but I'll take the free one mil GP. Pretty nice, I'd say. That means we're up to over 10 mils worth of emblems now, which is pretty neat. So I could, in theory, go and get a green cash stack on this account if I wanted, which is pretty neat, I would say. And there it is. Second one of those on the account. Matching our ancient crystals now. The collection log for Revenants isn't looking too bad. But it would look a lot better with one of these four items ticked off. So yeah, 3.2 killed so far. Uh, I'm probably going to get at least 10k in this video because, you know, 10,000 sells well in the title of YouTube videos. Uh, as you know, because you probably clicked on this video uh, on purpose, hopefully on purpose, um, because it had 10,000 in the title. You know, psychological games like that is uh, is how... Is, is, is how the YouTube game is played. What am I talking about? So we're coming in with 63 range, which I believe is the level that I'm going to start hitting 10s with these mithril arrows. So we shall see on that shortly. Um, the levels are going by quite quickly. We're now officially halfway to 70 range um, in terms of XP. So that will come quick which is very nice. Um, it's nice to, yeah, there's the 10, lovely. Um, it'll be really nice to get 70, because I think once I get some black dehyde equipped, I'm gonna be a lot more accurate, and I think I'll probably have a bit more of a shot at things like the Pyre Fiends, maybe like the Hellhound, stuff like that. So I might not necessarily stay at the Goblins until first rev weapon if we get to 70 range first because I think that that 70 range might make it better for us to do slightly higher level revenants. It might not, because the kills per hour here is just so quick, but we'll see. Oh, here we go again. Oh, he's one of the ones who smite and a dragon crossbow, so this might be slightly rough, actually. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> rip. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, there's the first death in the Rev Caves. That's a bit rough. Um, don't think I lost anything. Um, my usual way to get back at the minute is to just go up here, get a teleport to Varrock and tally straight to Varrock. Um, but I should probably just unlock the Ferox. The Ferox one. So, Ferox Enclave respawn point, right? I can buy it within my chunk because Ferox uh, herself like wanders around here. So I can buy it here, that's fine. When you respawn at Ferox Enclave, you respawn over here, which is obviously not in my chunks. However, it's a lot closer to my chunks than the Lumbridge respawn is. So, you know, should I get that? Let me know in the comments down below if you think that that should count as something that I have to do. And if it, not necessarily that I have to do, but like, is it more closer to the rules? Because I'm more unlock, I'm more likely to unlock that chunk and therefore never have to leave my chunks again uh, than I am the Lumbridge one. So yeah, let me know what you think on if I should uh, if I should get that or not. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't actually have a hundred k in cash. Um, I think I should have some alcohols. Yeah, I should just go and trade my emblems in, but I kind of like just having them there um, in the bank. And I'm also a bit nervous about actually trading them in, and I'm not sure if I should just you know just alk them, even though it's only sixty percent of their value. Um, that's an option too, I guess. But yeah, okay, yeah, we've definitely got the Alks to uh to sort this out. But <laughs> we're running out of um running out of nature runes actually, which isn't isn't great. Uh, but luckily Revs gives quite a lot of high value items, so yeah, we've got enough to go back into the Rev Cage. Hopefully, we can get some more Alks to keep ourselves happy. Oh my God! Look at this absolute PK bot. That's so bad. The auto switching is crazy. Look at this. Look at that. I hope he gets banned. Bwap Segzy B. My look at the state of that. That's ridiculous. AHK or just literally a bot. That's nuts. Imagine doing that to kill some level eighty two in the Rev Caves. That's so embarrassing. My God, that's crazy. I didn't realise people like actually used that stuff outside of being like absolute, you know, Android PK warriors in like, you know, absolute max. But that's crazy doing that just to kill random rev killers at level 80. Ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's just splashed everything. What a dork. Studded body coming. Oh God, he's coming. He's still coming. Run. Run! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I get recognised quite a lot in the game. Like, a disproportionate amount to what I thought I would do. This is the first time in about a week, maybe slightly longer, that anyone has recognised me in the Rev Caves at all. So, that's cool. I wish you'd stay and protect me. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, cool. There is 65 range at the Revenant Goblins. Going quite quick, five levels to go, two level 70, and then we'll be able to wear Black Dehyde, which will be such an upgrade over our studded body. Though we won't be getting rid of the Maple Short Bow, because I'm, I'm not getting any random events. I don't think you get random events in the wilderness, or a certain... <laughs> Sorry, Phoebe running around with a stick saying stick man. Um, if, yeah, I don't think you get any uh, random events, at least in the Revenant Caves, because I haven't had one since being here, and it's been a long time. <laughs> She's ridiculous. Um, so that means I'm not advancing any random event stuff, and it's, uh, I think, 27 Hunter that I need for Bowstring. So, yeah, we're nowhere close to that. And I don't think we're going to get it by the end of this chunk, realistically, unless I really get a lot of random events while doing the agility, maybe. But I don't know. 
Oh, I think this guy may have come over the uh, over the shortcut. Uh, get off me. Okay, right, we could be in trouble here. I'm hoping what I can do is he's not got 75, hopefully. I've looked him up and he does. Uh, okay, right, this ain't good. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a death. Uh, God, they're so strong. 80. Why did I not go the other way? He couldn't have. I don't even know what I protect, to be fair. I should have gone the other way. Oh, quick, keep running around here. Keep running around here. Might be able to get a gap on him. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, that's so lame. Okay, so it looks like I keep my green dehyde chaps. Which I guess is useful. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, at least I'd only just gone back, so I didn't have any. Why did I not look at his combat level? Ah! Oh. Right, so in future, I need to look at their combat level and look at their agility level. And then I can kind of make a bit more of an informed choice on what I need to do. Because I just did absolutely the wrong thing there. Ugh. Bloody hell. Just got some knobhead on me. Didn't even notice where he, that he was there. Crazy, bro. Oh, fuck. Come on. Eat the wrong way. Ugh. At least I have the shortcut. Okay, I don't think he does. I think we're all good. Literally just got here. I'm not going to loot him back yet. You can tell I just got here. Oh, <laughs> oh it's getting to that time of day. Um, sort of late in the afternoon is the worst. I'm getting hit by PKs so much lately. I'm actually like going down in food as opposed to up. <laughs> Craziness. Um, but we we keep on because we aren't scared around here. We're uh, we're big boys wearing our big boy trousers. And by big boy trousers, I mean tight, tight, skin tight green chaps. Yeah, you know, I've got my got my bald head and my tight green trousers. So yeah, I'm I'm heading into the rev caves probably to get fucked. And with this kill, assuming I've been counting correctly. That should be 5,000 revenants killed with uh, 40 bracelets, two ancient crystals, one effigy, one statuette, two totems, and one emblem. Not too bad for 5,000. Got uh, well, you know, a little bit of imps, mostly goblins. I'd say not too bad, really. Um, it would have been nice to have spooned a weapon very early. Um, we still can spoon a weapon because I think the drop rate is about 1 in 10,000. But, yeah, we didn't get one super early. But I'm quite enjoying the revenants. I've got quite a lot of cash stacked up in the bank. Quite a lot of good alks. Quite enjoying escaping from the PKers as well. The agility is extremely fun to use because they all just look so disappointed as they, as they stand at the edge of the pillar. Uh, but, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Half of the revs I'm planning on doing in this video done. Hopefully we can have some better luck in the second half. Oh, also we are 8,000 XP until level 70 magic. Been doing quite a lot of splashing during uh, times when I particularly need to AFK throughout the day. Uh, it's quite very, very nice having that rune shop in Varrock for doing things like that. It just means I can, you know... I don't have to worry about runes as much as I would if I was getting them from NPCs. So it's really nice to basically just have unlimited... Well, I basically do have unlimited runes now, right? Because I've you can just buy them. And I have, with revs, pretty much unlimited cash. So, yeah, I think the goal is probably still going to be to try and get pretty much most of the way to 99 by the time we finish this chunk. Um, assuming we don't spoon like every single weapon here really, really quickly. 
But yeah, I think it's, to be honest, quite doable uh, with the unlimited cash that we've got now. So that would be really nice because then the Theremin Scepter will be an incredible weapon for us. If I've got nearly 99 magic and I've got the Theremin Scepter where we roll barrows, for example, I am going to cut through those fuckers like a uh, hot knife through butter, uh, which is the plan. So... Yeah, we we are just, I'm feeling quite positive at the moment. This is uh, I, I rolled this as a death chunk, and the, my initial reaction was obviously fucking hell, please no. Uh, particularly the agility wreck, which I've not really got too stuck into yet. I've only done seventy one, seventy five. I'm sure when I start pushing into the late eighties, that's gonna feel really brutal. But yeah, I'm quite enjoying the chunk now from a overall perspective because. I know that, you know, a thousand or so hours from now when we actually complete this chunk, I will be in an incredible spot for almost everything that we can do going forward. We still have a lot of skill uh, skill capes near us. However, they can be somewhat alleviated by having almost unlimited money, right? So construction, obvious reasons, having unlimited money, which is essentially what Revs is, is very, very nice because I have oak logs, I have the lumber yard, so in theory, and, and I, I get a lot of law runes from here as well, so in theory, teleport to Varrock, run over to the uh, oaks to the east, chop a full invent, go to the lumber yard, uh, yeah, go to the lumber yard, convert them all into planks, and then teleport to house, build everything I need to build, and then, you know, back to Varrock and repeat which is actually not too bad of a training method considering I'll have almost certainly all the money sorted from doing this grind. So that's huge. Also the cooking cape, which I'm one chunk away from as well, is pretty easy too with unlimited money because instead of buying just meat from the shop, which is what I had to do to get to level 80 uh, because it's one, it's like uh, one GP for 30 XP, so like really, really cheap, and I only had very limited access to money at the time. So that was the best thing for me to do because the money making was so bad. But with unlimited money, I can buy the salmon, the pike, the trout, the shark, even. Um, there's less of them per world, but there's a lot more. But if I bought all of those, I'd get 16 fish per world, and they'd give what 70, 80 and 90 XP and then like 210 for the shark or something. So the XP per hour would be way better now that we've got unlimited money. Room crafting, not really affected. Uh, what else have we got? Smithing is kind of also unlocked with this chunk, which is a kind of bad thing because as soon as we get a smithing method, I need to get 99 smithing, which is a bit brutal from this chunk. But... As soon as we, uh, yeah, I don't really see how money's going to help me with that, to be honest. <laughs> Unless we get, what, um, what's that thing called that's on the Giants Plateau? The new one. I can't remember. That new mini game. Not not the Blast Furnace, the other one. Uh, Giants Foundry, that's it. Um, if we get that, I'll be able to buy, like, armor that is somewhat inefficient. So I'd be able to just, like, spam money on like adamant swords and or like adamant long swords at the sword shop for for instance to really speed the xp up there so that's an option um but yeah basically having unlimited money is going to help us in a lot of ways so you see this is the issue like no one is honorable i feel like when you're in a goblin just pick two worlds and just hop between them but no one is honorable and that means i can't be honorable and do that as well and then everyone hops into everyone else's worlds and it's all just a big mess but i guess now i've, I've been waffling for so long you've seen a decent little snippet actually of what i'm doing to do this grind and as you can see it's not too bad not spending a lot of time in one world which is quite annoying it'd be better not to have to hop but i also feel like the hopping keeps me off PKers' radar because PKers will run through here and I won't be here and they won't bother looking for me uh, like half the time when I'm in another world. So that's quite good, I guess, in some instances. 
yeah, it's, it's been an all right grind and I'm, I'm looking forward to more. It'll be really, really nice to get a rev weapon and start killing some proper revenants because these just drop nothing or coins way, way, way too often. Uh, whereas proper revs will be dropping the loot, like the planks and the dehyde and and the alcables like way 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 more often so that'll be really fun i hope i can get the avarice as well because that'll be really nice i like the idea of not having to attack random bots to skull up just being able to equip that will be nice and also it acts like a salve and i obviously don't have a salve so actually having one will be really useful but yeah this is going quite well so far 66 range <sighs> Yeah, we're now magic based, by the way, so but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Up to 64 combat, so we're slowly creeping into slightly scarier levels of PKers. So potentially that 89 agility will come in handy. Um, but I'm not seeing too many PKers with 65 even in this combat bracket. So I reckon the next combat bracket, I'm probably going to kill the orcs that are here once I get a rev weapon. And then just use that as my escape, the 75, the level 75 one. I feel like that's probably the smartest thing to do. But yeah, we'll see. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> my mini, uh, what, seven minute ramble I've just been on. But uh, yeah, I just, I, I got to talking and then never stopped. Uh, I'm like your your favourite history teacher. Did you, did anyone else used to do that in class? When You know when you had like a supply teacher who just loved the sound of their own voice a little bit too much? You just start asking questions about like random stuff like, oh, what's what's your favourite period in uh, in history, sir? And oh, what's uh, what, what what kind of house do you live in, sir? And all this. And before you knew it, you were at the end of the lesson and hadn't learned anything. So uh, you know that's the goal of school as a student is obviously to try and not learn anything, uh, which which served me well because I'm now a salesman in my in my real life. Uh, I sell IT like you know computers and that uh, servers cloud you know things like that so if any of you are uh, <laughs> it managers by any chance feel free to comment down below and maybe we can work together in real life uh, i've lost my skull so time to go and find a bot and re-skull back up but yeah seriously if any of you are it managers hit me up because it would actually be really good <laughs> i did actually get my biggest client that i've ever had from RuneScape, they recognised me, or well, I spoke to them anyway, and they recognised my voice as being an old school RuneScape YouTuber, and uh, things just went from there. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it is a good new business strategy, RuneScape. Here is a level seventy three magic, sixty six combat as well. Oh, that is flying past. Going to be good to get a high level in that ASAP, but time to get back to the Revenants. In fact, actually, so I've got, actually got a request for you guys, which is if we go into the Revenant Caves, we can see there's this shortcut, level 89 agility, which we have to get to. At the moment, the best course I have unlocked to get those levels is the Canifis course, um, which is about... 17k xp per hour miserable right it's gonna take about 300 hours however can you see this little agility icon here the werewolf agility course so in theory i can i can get there right but i need to do the creature fenkenstrain quest and where we're at in that is has ordered me to repair the lightning conductor to repair the lightning conductor you need three bronze bars and three uh three and one silver ore right so i can get albeit not in enough quantity to force me to do a smithing grind bronze bars right i can get them very very slowly at a drop rate of way more than one in 16 which is what i've set secondary training at but i can't get a silver bar that i can tell at all um which is a problem so in theory, I could get a rare drop table of some silver ore, um, but I don't have the smithing level to get to level 20. Um, so I, d I don't have the smithing level, which is level 20, to actually create a silver bar out of silver ore. So that doesn't really help me. The other option that I looked into and I was so like excited for, but then didn't work out, was using a Christmas cracker from my main account on this account to get a silver bar, because they drop a silver bar at a one in seven. But... You can't do that 
on an Iron Man, which is annoying for sure. Um, the other option that I found was, and this is the one that I'm currently going with, is that baby implings drop silver bars, like pure silver bars, at a 1 in 100 rate, which is pretty lacklustre. And obviously I don't have access to pure puro, so I would just have to find 100 of them out in the wild. Um, but... Um, so I just have to find a hundred of them out in the wild, which is rough as it is. Um, but I also would need 27 Hunter to do that. I'm currently 13, which isn't too bad. But my main problem is that I'm not getting random events out in the Revenant Caves. So most of the time in this chunk is going to be spent in the Revenant Caves, not <laughs> getting random events. So that's kind of rough. The only so 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 basically what I'm thinking at the moment is if I leave agility until last, I can then do the fletching outside of uh, the wilderness, obviously in Varrock or whatever, which will take a couple hundred hours probably, and hope that I get enough random events in that time to get me to level 27 i think i need about 43 lamps to get me to 27 which sounds like a lot but now that they've made the random event changes where the you know like the camo event and all that stuff gives you lamps i'm thinking it might be a bit more doable to get to 27 before i finish the fletching but i'm not 100 percent sure the other thing I was wondering is, do you guys know of any methods to get a single silver bar so it can be a one-off or as rare as you like within the chunks that I have um, kind of quickly at all? So, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, you talk to a random NPC and give them a cup of tea and they give you a silver bar in exchange, something like that. All the methods that are on the wiki don't work at all. I can't get them aside from the baby imp one. But I'm thinking, you know, there, there has been stuff not on the wiki before. Really, really niche stuff. Where if I could get a silver bar, I could cut the agility ground down from about 100 hours. No, from about 300 hours to less than 100 hours by using the werewolf course. Because the werewolf course is about 60k XP per hour compared to the 17k that the cannabis course is. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know of any wacky or unorthodox methods to get a silver bar sort of in and around the low level wilderness varrock or cannabis areas um i'm not holding much hope but if you do we would be saving about 200 hours of agility grinding and we could kind of get back to rolling chunks way way quicker and there is 67 range only three levels to go until we can finally Equip some black dehyde, which will be a good day. I'm hoping that that level 67 means that I can now hit tens with steel arrows because they are markedly cheaper than mithril's. Oh, he's got a ballista. That's cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. This guy's kind of stacked on the gear, which to me tells me he's probably got decent levels as well. So let's see if we get across here. Is he going to follow? Looks like no. Ah, fuck's sake. Looks like we're gonna get away. Easy peasy. Whew. Oh, I was a bit worried about that one. Oh, here we go. This guy's even more stacked. Let's go. Not got much food either, so. A bit screwed on this one. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, might kill me. Oh. Did I get it? Okay, he's not following. <laughs> okay, that one was really nerve-wracking. Okay, okay. 
So the reason that the silver bar is so important for us is it lets us complete Creature of Fenconstrain and completing that quest gives us access to the Werewolf Agility course which will cut my agility grind down by about 200 hours. To this end, my friend Saycase came up with a genius idea that some of you may be familiar with from Swampletics, dragging an NPC that drops a silver bar through a fairy ring into Mauritania. Desert lizards drop silver bars at a 1 in 64 rate and reside right next to a fairy ring. The very same fairy ring that Settled used to pull jackals through in Swampletics. Right, so this is where we are and we're trying to pull through these lizards. So the only one I can get to step near the fairy ring at the moment is this one, but it's a 2x2 two two, so it doesn't seem like it pulls through in the same way. So if I go like this, it doesn't look like it pulls forward in quite the same way as the jackals do. So I'm not 100% that that works with that one. So that implies that what I need to do is get the lizard to do it. One of these small ones, but I can't get one to pull close enough. Um, Because you see how, where's the jackal that you can actually do? Oh, I can't find it. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's, let's see, look, you can get a jackal to come through even when it's nowhere close to you. Can I attack that? I don't know. Yeah, you can pull jackals, but that's it. Oh, that's so annoying if you literally cannot get a desert lizard to follow you. I think it's probably just coded to maybe bring a jackal with you and that's that. Oh, that's so annoying. That could have been amazing. Oh yeah, I think you're right, friend. I've got a PKer on me. Uh, not my thing, right? He got across the 65. Is he gonna get across the uh, across the 75? Yeah, he is. Oh fuck, we're so fucked, right? My only hope is to try and get around this corner and get the log out. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was so fucked then. Oh, as if that guy had 75 agility. That's fucked, man. Oh my god, as if I got away from that. Wow, wow, wow. And there is 68 range, two levels to go until the game changing black dehyde. Exciting times for I. Right, I think it's finally time. I'm getting sick of having no money, so I'm going to trade these bad boys in. I think I might just leave that second ancient totem just in case we die and I've got like a mill left over. Um, you've got to do it on the bounty world, which is literally just one world, which is very grim. But I'm going to go scout it on my main so that it's not quite so risky. But I'm going to go log. Oh, I, should probably... I should probably take some food with me, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would have been a bit of an epic fail. Um, so I'll take a few of those. And then some, something, like, something like that should be pretty safe, I think. So I'll go like that. And hopefully this will go smoothly. Okay, so we found the emblem trader on the main. It's up by the pyre fiends heading this way. That guy's going to attack me. Guessing. Be ready to log out. Okay, no, we're good. This is slightly nerve wracking. It should just be here. Okay, got the 11.5 mil. Let's swap off the bounty hunter world. Oh, okay, right. We need to really, really not die with this stuff. So I'm just going to log out on every single PK that we see. We should be all right, though, I think. Probably worth saving a little bit of run. Um... 11.5 mil, really hope I get back with this because that would be really, really useful for me. A lot of runes can be bought, a lot of arrows can be bought, a lot of just general security. Not having to alk anything. Okay, looks like we're okay getting past this guy. Okay. Looks like we're going to be good. 
so annoying that you got to go to the bounty hunter world. I'm pretty sure you didn't always have to and you could just do it on any world. Um, but it looks like we got away with it. So we are happy for that. 11.5 mil. That is so massive. That's so much money on an extreme one chunk as well. And there's only going to be more where that came from, especially once I can kill some better revenants. Right. There we go. 11.5 million GP secured. Chuck it in the bank. Look, we're low on arrows, low on runes. That is going to be a game changer. We've still got another one mil there. We got third ancient crystal last night, which I forgot to mention. And we can now finally start stacking up some of these item stacks. Uh, I've been kind of alking them, but I'm now out of nature runes as well. So if I want any more, I'm going to have to go to green dragons or something. But we can now finally start actually getting some proper, proper stacks of the alkables because that 11 mil is going to last us a long time, which is great news. And last night, whilst asleep in my bed, 75 magic was obtained. Should I keep going? I think so. I feel like... The range level is just going to keep going up and up and up, so being slightly ahead on the magic isn't necessarily the end of the world. Can I cast any interesting spells with 75? Uh, fire wave, so I could technically splash with blood runes, of which I do actually have some, I think. 900, I mean, I'm not going to waste them, but there we go. Uh, level 79 for Entangle, which would let me bind opponents for 15 seconds, which is actually useful to me uh, because it could be useful to escape from PKs once I hit a higher level. Um, and I do have the bind sacks for it, so I can just use those to cast Entangle, so I don't even have to use the four lore runes or whatever it is. Um, yeah, magic is booming. Let's have a look at the uh, collection log as well for the Revenants. We're currently at six and a half thousand. No drops recently, which is a bit gutting. But uh, the collection log is actually looking pretty good. We're over halfway done with it, technically. Although these four items, are obviously the, the the big boys. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping once I get to seventy, I'll be able to move to the pyre fiends with a bit more credibility. And at the pyre fiends, uh, the drop rate will go down to ooh, one in four thousand instead of one in ten thousand. So yeah, we'll be in a better spot then. Oh, here we go. Wilderness Chunk Man. I'll tell you what, do you know what? Having the high magic level, I've really noticed recently that they splash a lot more often on me um, when they try and chuck the binds, which actually makes the escapes even easier. I will be honest, I have died a couple of times <laughs> on mobile. Um, because it's just so much harder to do the prayers on mobile. Um I'm fine if they come with like magic and a, and and range, and I'm just choosing between, you know, bolting and using like god spells or whatever they use. The ones that actually kind of have a chance of killing me though are the ones that chuck the DDSs and the granite molds and stuff. Um, but as long as they don't do that and I'm on the PC, I'm pretty confident I won't die too often. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What level is he? 58. Yeah, no chance, pal. Cheers for wasting my time. <laughs> Why even bother if you're like 58 combat? It's just, it's just never going to happen. Come on. At least pick on some of the like level 30s that I see around. I'm so, I'll tell you what though, I am so happy I've got that agility escape. <laughs> it makes escaping so much more realistic. Alright, here we go. 69 range, just one level to go until level 70, which is going to be an absolute game changer. Very excited for that. Currently at... No, yeah, I do want collections logged. Currently at... It's nearly 7,000 revenants, still no more items, but hopefully that will turn around soon. So many PKers tonight, so many. Level 81 combat, looks like the kind of guy that might be able to escape. Unfortunately, my 75 magic meant that he could not catch a single bind. 
Things you love to see. Right, fuck it. We're still only 69, so we haven't got the black dehyde. But I've run the DPS calcs, and the black dehyde doesn't seem to actually help the DPS too much. What I've got is some adamant arrows, and I'm going to try and kill the pyre fiend instead of the goblin. So the defense level on the pyre fiend is still quite low at 33, so I should hit quite often. The only issue with it is that because it's got higher hit points, it heals 20 each time it heals, so it's, it can be harder to um, to get the kind of DPS that you need to kill it like before it heals, so you kind of just need to get quite lucky on the hits. But with the adamant arrows and... Uh, with the adamant arrows and the capability to use eagle eye, I should be able to hit 13s. And 13s is quite good, and I think I'll be all right. Uh, it reckons, the DPS calc reckons 15 seconds per kill. I think that's unlikely, to be honest. But... um. Because of the healing mechanics, I think I think that's unlikely. But I hope it should be all right. Let's say let's give this a go. See how we get. Piss off. Okay. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna log in and get killed then. Okay, so the the accuracy is actually very good. Okay. Not healing. That can't be a normal kill. Okay. I'll tell you, what, I wish I'd range parts so badly. Um, that would have been one of the good things if RTO had been in this chunk, is that even though it would have been asked to kill, um, he drops range potions, which I could have used for revenants or anything else, so that would have been cool. Uh, but here we are. Do you know what? This might be the way. This isn't too bad. And I'm pretty sure the regular loot from this is quite crazy. Uh, in comparison to the goblins. Let's do one more, see how it goes. I tell you what, it's accurate, isn't it? 87% accuracy does feel bloody accurate. Um, They're not hitting me too much either. I don't know what their max hit is. I came here with an empty bracelet, I believe. Okay, this is very doable. This is very doable. Okay, right, I might stick to this then. Um, the arrows are obviously a bit expensive, but they're not too bad. And that is the 75 agility shortcut there. So I'll have a pretty good escape route if I need to. Um, piss off. People are so disloyal. Okay, right, let's stick with it. Okay, so this is certainly very doable. Um, I think it will be so much better if I can bag myself an Avarice, because I think if I get an Avarice, my max hit would go up to 16 at this range level. Um, if I get level 73 range, currently 69, my max hit will go up to 14 anyway. So, yeah, I think I finally hit the crossover point where I can kill some slightly better revenants. Um, I probably won't do this when I'm on mobile, because... I actually have to use my prayers quite a lot. Like, I don't think I would get the kills very often if I wasn't using Eagle Eye. But when I'm on desktop, I'm definitely going to be doing this. So many bots, though, honestly. Well, there's no way anyone other than me is actually a legitimate player in the caves without an Avas device. <laughs> Ranging uh, Revenant, surely that's just me. Hold the fuck up! This is the first... The first, um... Random event I've had in the Revenant Caves. Doesn't seem like coincidence that it's while I'm at Pyrefiends and, like, for the first time and not... at Goblins. What? Is there something about being near the entrance or something that stops you getting random events? I swear to God, I've had zero random events since being there. In, what, 7,000 goblin kills or so? And, what, f 10 minutes into my stay at Pyrefiends and I got a random event? I'm confused now. What was that? I honestly didn't realise that was a thing. Also, can we point out how mental it is that the respawn time on 
the pyre fiends is like 36 seconds and the respawn time on the goblins is like 48 seconds even though these have four times as much hit points that's just weird um but yeah looks like i can get random events then whilst in the revenant caves which is huge actually because that means that i can lamp my hunter to 27 far easier than otherwise so it looks like i will be able to get the silver bar that i need to complete creature of fenconstrain which means i'll be able to do 60k xp agility 60k agility xp per hour when i finally get to having to do the agility my god this is such a big game changing moment for the account it's much bigger than i even appreciated immediately oh my goodness Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. Okay, I figured it out. It's because I was hopping at the goblins, isn't it? So I was only ever logged in for like 30, 40 seconds at a time. Now I'm at Pyrefiends and I'm not killing them fast enough to need to hop. I can get... Oh, it looks like I do negative Bracelet of Ethereum charges here because I just ran out. Okay, that's not the end of the world, I guess, but it's quite annoying. Um, so I'll just need to charge up my bracelet of Ethereum every so often, I guess. Um, but yeah, it looks like the random events are actually, you can get random events in the wilderness, no problem. It's the fact that I was hopping around that meant I wasn't getting any. So that's fine. Uh, that means I can get, um, random events in the wilderness, which I'm pretty sure the whole video I've been saying I couldn't, but the fact that I can is a game changer, at least for my mental state when it comes to getting the silver bar. Um, however, I am definitely still going to have the competition to see if anyone can get me a silver bar immediately, because it would be nice to be able to do that agility grind mixed in with this revenant grind, as opposed to doing the whole revenant grind and then doing the uh, agility grind afterwards. So yeah, I'll... Uh... I'll give details of that at the end. I've had a couple of PKers hop in and just not attack me. I think the reason is that they don't see me as worth it. I think the higher the level the PK, the less likely they are to attack some dork with a maple shortbow. Okay, maybe I'm mistaken and this guy is just going to attack me. <laughs> it was this guy that logged in and then hopped away. I'm hoping that he will leave me okay yeah so i think me with my maple shortbow and green dehyde they just don't see as worth it because it's just a waste of runes um i think they probably only attack people with like crossbows or whatever that they can guarantee to get either a thousand or two thousand ether from um you know they're sort of like guaranteed 500k if you can kill them whereas i'm like a guaranteed 100 only so, yeah, I'm hopeful that now I'm at slightly higher level revs, there'll be higher level PKers that aren't so willing to go for a noob like me. And even if there are more PKers and they're higher level and can kill me easier, less of them will actually bother to attack me. Um, so we might be in a net better spot than we were at the Goblins, if I'm lucky. Let's see what this one is. This one will be the crossbow on camera. Never lucky. Right, is this guy going to get on me? No, logged out as well. Okay, right. So is the new meta look so newbie in the rev caves that no one bothers to attack you? It seems to be. <laughs> That's quite good. I've been here for like about 35 minutes and possibly longer. And no one's attacked me, but I've seen a few PKs at least. So this could be the meta. Okay, so I used about 300 adamant arrows on that trip. Didn't get attacked at all. We've got, what, uh, 86k's worth of bracelet of theorems in our invent, plus another 311k, so 400k worth of stuff, at least 200k worth of alks. 300 addy arrows probably costs us 40, 50k. So yeah, definitely still in profit using the addy arrows, so I'll just stick to using those. And I think Pyre Fiends may very well be the way. So what are we looking at now? 7.2k. So yeah, I think that's going to be the way. And uh, the drop rate of a weapon or Amulet of Avarice from a Pyre Fiend is about 1 in 4.5k. So about two and a half times better than the Goblins. And the range XP is a lot better because I'm in combat for a lot longer, whereas I'm hopping quite a lot of Goblins. So... I think this is going to be the way that we're going to get the remainder of the Revenant kills.
Hey, we got our first PK. -er. Exciting stuff. Okay, time to see if this guy has 75 agility. He's only 74 combat, so he could quite easily not. Ah, oh, nice. Techers. Go on, get across. Please don't have it. Okay, looks like we're all good. <laughs> but I am poisoned, so I'm going to have to go and sort that out. Ugh, that's annoying. The poison from the dragon daggers is one of the most annoying things they can do. I much prefer when they've got a granite maul. Uh, partly because it never hits, and also because it doesn't poison me. Um, but yeah, that was the first PK we've had, and I've got... 130 pyrefiend kills so yeah definitely less pk as i'd say um but yeah no good loot yet 1.8 mil uh in no 1.08 mil of loot in 130 kills so we're getting just short of 10k loot and we've had no emblems no weapons no anything so yeah i'd say good start okay big moment for the account coming in 70 range which means we can now equip black dehyde and crucially because we unlocked revenants and our starting chunk canifis we can oh and the 87 crafting that we've got we can actually get that which is very exciting for me so let's go and do that and uh we'll be back we'll be back looking far more stacked than we are currently in our studded body and our green dehyde chaps so we have 100 black dehyde so far, which is actually quite a lot. It means I can lose quite a lot of sets of this in the wilderness if I need to, though. I'm not dying as much as I really thought I would. So which guy is it? Is it this guy? I think so. Whoops. Run over here. How much is it? I bet it's expensive. Yeah, quite a lot. But there we go. 25 black dehydes done. And we can even craft black dehyde bodies. Look at that, 258 XP each. That's a Mauritania task as well, which is very nice indeed. So, oh, no. Oh, well, I'll need some of those anyway. Get some chaps. Look at that, full black dehyde on a level 68 extreme one chunk iron man. This is peak performance. <laughs> Right, so we've finished up crafting our black dehyde. So we've got 19 sets of tops and chaps, which is fine because we obviously use the bracelet of Ethereum while we're out in the rev caves, which is most of what we're going to be doing for combat at the moment. So we've got 19 sets so we can go ahead and lose, which is basically infinite. What I am going to do, though, is replenish my capes and boots because there is nothing more cringe than a RuneScape character without a cape. So, uh... I'll do that and then I guess we'll get back to it. So our Revenant gear previously was this, but with a bracelet, which was plus 45 attack bonus and mage defense, probably most important, 16 mage defense. This is 68 mage defense and 76 attack bonus. So we're in a way better spot for landing our hits and also tanking PKers. If we add in our attack bonus from the Green Dehyde Vams, this was our absolute peak range gear, 53 attack bonus. And this is now 87. Green Dehyde Vams are, I believe, equivalent of Barrow's gloves uh, by themselves. So we are laughing. And just look, can I just say, look at how stacked we look. Black Dehyde on an extreme one chunk account. That is pretty rare and very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be our Revenant setup from now on. Look at us. Whoa, beautiful. My favourite accounts are the bots that as soon as you log in, just auto telly. How can that be a good botting method at Revenants? It must take ages to get back. And you must be teleporting after you get, like, one kill because there's just always people running past. Like, um, most of them aren't PKers. But just as soon as I logged in, the account just launched the teleport and off he went. What's the point? That must be like the least GP efficient bot ever. Look at this dog. What's he on me for? Just 
random geezer with poison knives. Like, thanks, bro. Right, let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> that was just bizarre. <laughs> Weird when like other revenant killers attack you for seemingly no reason. Okay, I've just done a small amount of research and found out that the Revenant Orc only has 60 defense. So even though it's got high hit points, 105, it's got low defense. So I think there's a chance that I could actually kill them relatively effectively. So let's just give it a go and see how we do. Okay, I was definitely wrong on that. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know if they've got... I mean, they hit me hard as well. I don't know if they've got, like, uh, high range defense or something similar, but, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of crazy geared up PKs and stuff out, out at the moment. Um, hopefully that's not going to be too bad in my combat bracket. Oh, here we go. Level 82 pure. I reckon we'll probably be all right. I'm loving the Black Dehyde, though. They splash a lot. I'm very sad that I wasn't able to grab that. Okay, can he cross? Maybe? Kind of walked over like he might be able to, but I got away. Which is good news. Cool. Right. <laughs> Just as easy to get away here as elsewhere, and the Black Dehyde is definitely helping. 76 magic Black Dehyde is pretty splashy, which is nice. Why do they bother... They're so annoying. I think it's because they think I'm a bot or something, because I've got, like, no gear. Ugh, boring. Oh well. Oh, we got a ballista. Looks like he knows what he's doing, but we all know he's not going to have 75 agility. Yeah, shock. <laughs> I swear, getting that stupid 71 agility grind at the start of this account was the single best thing that has happened to me. Uh, what? Six weeks later, eight weeks later, I'm um, just... Absolutely loving it. Uh, all the pain of having done it has has faded away, and now we're just left with the pure glory of having the levels. Right, guarantee teleports. Yeah, told you. Look, they're all bots. It's crazy how many bots there is here. Like they just log in there, or hot worlds in there every more than every minute, and they either instantly teleport or just log out straight away again, or run away. It's crazy. I don't, I genuinely don't understand like how they make any money. <laughs> it's great though, look, because you can just attack them and they teleport away. <laughs> you can literally just have any world you want. <laughs> oh, go on then. Second random event we've got out here and it's a genie again. Two genies in a row. Good times, good times indeed, right. Is that going to be another hunter level? I don't think so. We'll probably put us close to the next one. Uh, yeah, pretty close. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Oh, here we go. This guy is geared with the uh, Staff of the Dead, which is normally not a good sign. Fingers crossed. Okay, looks like we're good. I think he'd have crossed if he could. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're laughing. The venom is irritating, though. See ya, baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I would never get bored of that. You guys are probably bored of that, but I'm not. <laughs> Should we just waste this bot's time just because it's fun? And teleport, three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. See ya. <laughs> Look at this guy. Level one agility. Which is quite funny. This should be an easy escape. But he's kind of wrecking me. Run! Oh my god, my clicks at the minute are terrible. I'm baiting this guy so good with the prayer switches, though. As if they hit like that through prayer. Nuts, that 40 defense is killing me a bit. Yeah, 
you can't get me. Haha, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Why do they... I can't believe people make accounts like that and come PK. Is he doing something else on the side, which is why he's... Why he's like one... Like he's got... He's 354 total with 94 magic and 80 range. So I'm guessing so, but... <laughs> bizarre. I uh, don't know if I should stay for more. This feels like a mistake. Um... I don't think there's much I can do. Right, let's get this bot to teleport. See ya. Oh. Not a bot, maybe? Not a bot? Really? Surely he is. Maybe not. That's very strange. Since we've moved to the Pyre Fiends, the XP has been booming because I've realised that actually you're more accurate on the Pyre Fiends than you are on the Goblins because they've only got uh, 10 range defence of the Pyre Fiends compared to like 32 for the Goblins. Uh, but that is 72 range. At the next level, we're going to get a max hit on the uh, on the Adamant Arrows up to 14 instead of 13. So that will increase our kills per hour as well. I'm enjoying the Pyre Fiends at the moment. We are on 532 kills. So we're over 10% of the way to a weapon rate just on the Pyre Fiends that I've been doing recently. So I'm hopeful that we're going to get something good soon. Okay. So there is two parts of the zombie outfit. I haven't got many of those random events. But uh, yeah, hopefully that should be the end of the zombie outfit and I'll be able to get lamps from that from now on because uh oh, 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 oops oops oh my god right account account failed epically <laughs> yet another genie in the wilderness things you love to see is there like a a thing where only certain types of random events can spawn um in the wilderness very well could be I guess um but yeah, we're, we're kind of scything through this uh, hunter grind at the minute, which is great news. We have just hit 8,000 revenants and still nothing new. <laughs> I'm really, really hoping we get something. I've not had anything from the revenant pyre fiends yet. And I've killed 750 of them. Um, I think to get like an emblem or something, I probably have gone past the rate to get one of those by now. So yeah, a bit disappointing not to get one, but we keep on keeping on. Oh, we might have a death on our hands here. This guy actually has the agility level. Run! Uh, get the gap, get the gap, get the gap! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! Oh, we're so fucked. Okay, we might get it if we run around here. Oh my god, that was so close. I was like, I didn't even bother recording, so I was like, oh no, there's no way he's going to have the agility level. And then he did. Oh, that one hit points with the 19, when he hit the 19 and I was down to one hit points. That was brutal, man. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Huge level about to come in. We've been doing quite a lot of revs on the mobile over the weekend. Here is level 70. Five range which is pretty big uh, we're at 66 hit points 70 combat which is starting to cause us some problems because we're starting to get like zerkas on us in full void and stuff which is a bit rough uh, clan chat supportive as always um, but yeah we're at so I think we're probably about 8.6 8.7k rev something like that um, but yeah it's going well it's going well I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. And that's the main thing. Oh yeah, something else to note. Just got an ancient crystal, which I believe is ancient crystal. Number four, it is. So yeah, 8.7k revs. So if we get a house at some point and a high enough construction level, we can create one of those little, little wilderness portals in our house. Not that it's very useful because I'd have to unlock all of them all across the wilderness to be able to use them um so that's not ideal but cool nonetheless <laughs> i find this guy caught me like on the way out i need to look his stats up who's that okay he's 35 agility so i can use this 65 shortcut to get away 
that should be all right. I'm hoping from here. Come on. God, the bolts just fucking wreck you, don't they? I'll drink the fucking potion, my god. Ugh. Just cannot get it. Okay, this should be good because I think he's 35 agility. Ugh. Get off me. Okay, looks like we should be all right. Just gotta get these prayers right. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, don't fall with me. Oh! Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. I told you. Look at them. He's just straight onto the next guy. <laughs> Love that for him. Wow, I was so close to death. I look at the invent and I totally forgot that I had my fourth ancient crystal on me. <laughs> that would have been a bit awkward if I'd lost that. So yeah, there is four ancient crystals and confirmation of our wilderness uh, teleport obelisk thing completed in, in theory, of course, because I can't build one because I haven't got a house or the construction skill unlocked. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> I will never get bored of the double dragon plate legs drops that are like 320k, that's so nice. 500k in the bag, another 100, I should probably bank with 700k worth of loot, but fuck it, we ball, we ball. I've heard the, what we're going to be pleased in the comments to uh, fix up the bank, so here we go, organise this slightly, I think that looks pretty nice, I don't think there's a better way really to organise that, but um, yeah. A lot of loot when you look at it like that. 27 mil and I cashed in about 11 mils worth of emblems. So now I've actually got some coins. These rune and dragon items are going to stack up a lot. I mean the rune play legs alone is 1.2 mil in elks. The dragon long swords another 900k. I mean yeah this is going to be big money eventually. And these are very nice items in the long term as well. The addy bars are nice. The U logs and magic logs are nice for obvious reasons. The coal is actually very, very nice as well in the long run. So yeah, it's nice to get some good items kind of stacking up. Come on, what is the rate on those things? Like I swear they're basically as rare as some of the rarer emblems. I've got five of them now. <laughs> Come on, give me something else. Holy fuck! I was just I, I, right. I was just in bed playing on mobile, um, and I I've run outside to the studio, um, in the middle of the night to show you what has just occurred. Um, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I charged it with the with um, some ether before realizing I really need to go out and, and record. Oh my god. Look at that! We got a fucking crossbow! What's the kill count on it? I didn't even look. Uh 9.2 Crossbow done! <laughs> You know what the rate is on that from a pyrofin? One in 23,000. And we just pulled a fucking crossbow on the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. That is nuts. I also did a uh, DPS calculation on it just before um, coming out. Because I, I was like, oh, I should probably just stay in bed. And I thought, no, fuck that, I'm coming out. Um, look at the clipping on that. Um, the max hit on this with Eagle Eye and 76 range is a 27. I could only hit 14 with a maple shortbow, and this is three tick the same. So I basically doubled my DPS. Oh, and that's just on the damage. The accuracy is also, I'm getting nuts as well. Yeah, 133 in comparison to 87. I mean, look at that though. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Oh my God.
Oh my god, that's the best thing that could have happened as well. Because even if I got the mace, which is pretty good, I'd need to train my stats for it. The scepter would have been alright as well, but I haven't got any, like, mage gear. But I do have black dehyde, so the crossbow is perfect. Oh my god, just look at that. That is nuts. That is nuts. <laughs> Right, time to go use this bad boy to finish off the uh, 10k. Okay, we're going unsculled for now because I would really like to avoid losing my crossbow before the video even is released. So <laughs> I'll probably go sculled in future, but we'll just unsculled to finish off these 10k revs. The DPS on this thing is nuts in comparison to before. Look at that, 27. That is nuts. It just means that I can actually kill some proper revenants now as opposed to the low hit point low damage ones um and these ones just drop a lot of stuff very often so i think these drop essentially four times less coins than the pyre fiends did um which is kind of nuts it means i'm just gonna fill my invent very very quickly with like proper loot you know alcables and bars and battle staffs and this kind of thing so yeah, very exciting to get a rev weapon, I must say. Really, really cool. Also, I'd just like to point out I'm getting like over 55k range XP per hour now, <laughs> which is kind of nuts. Um, so we're going to be flying through range levels as well um, in comparison to before. Uh, this is genuinely the biggest game changer ever. And this thing's good outside the wilderness as well. I mean, it's... It wouldn't be hitting 27s, I think it'd be hitting 18s. But still, that's really good for the low, low cost of some Reven Revenant Ether. I mean, yeah, this is a huge upgrade for me. Huge. Right, I mean, this is just insane, right? 12 minutes and I'll fill the looting bag. 120k there, another kind of 70k there. So let's call that 200k plus another 200k in there. So 400-ish k in 12 minutes. So we're talking about 2 mil in uh you know raw ish gp per hour without getting any emblems or without getting any weapons this is crazy the crossbow goes absolutely nuts look at me i just saw a guy using like earth blast on the pyre fiends and i just let him know that it's a bad idea to do that because you know where pyre fiends are really good for hitting them with range they're really terrible for hitting them with magic but i'm just a good citizen even in the rev caves here we go, our first PK are on us. Since we got the crossbow, has he got the rain? Has he got the agility level? No, he does not. So we're all good. I'm pretty sure this is a 75 agility uh, shortcut here. So we should be good. There we go. Oh, we can kill these uh, imps whilst we wait to... Uh... He's not actually teleblock me, so I might just stay in this world, to be honest. Uh, go on, then. Unsculled off an imp. Let's get the Vigora's mace. So, the dra shall I give the dragons a go? Do you need to have... Do they fire blast you? Pretty sure they might. I'm going to just hop worlds, just in case, because I'm pretty sure if I hop worlds and the dragons kill me, that guy won't get my stuff. Um... Cool, right, let's go back. Um, I might be completely made up in that, but we'll see. But yeah, let's let's give the dragons a go, see how they see how they do. See if they're too tanky for us still. Uh it doesn't seem too bad. 155 hit points is a lot though. And they're kind of shredding with the uh with the fives through prayer. Like through the bracelet and the prayer. Not too bad, though. I definitely could kill them. The food usage would be crazy, though. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be worth it, but interesting that I can kill them. We've progressed a long way in this uh, in this series so far. Um, right. So let's go back to quads. I think quads is going to be the best. Um, just for the kills per hour. And the range training. I think once I scull up again, I might do something different. Might go back to orcs or something. But 
I'll leave all the analysis on what we're going to do with the crossbow for the next video. Main thing is just to finish up this 10k kill. And here is level 77 range, which is a pretty big level because I believe that now means that I can hit 28s with the crossbow instead of 27s. And that's our last max hit that we're going to get. Or, yeah, so there, we can hit 28. So that's going to be our last max hit until we hit level 81, where our max hit jumps from 28 to 30. So I've no idea why getting, you know, 79 doesn't put it to 29. It just doesn't. Uh, but, yeah, last max hit we're going to get for a while. And there is 9,500, 500 to go. Still cannot believe I got the crossbow. I'm so happy about it. Um, the loot from the demons and cyclops at quads is just insane. The kills per hour, it's really quick as well, so that's really nice. Oh, oh I'm so happy. So, so happy. This homie just got an 8 mil emblem, this bot did. I feel like if I was on a main account and I wasn't risking a crossbow if I attacked him, I'd probably be thinking about it. Grats to the bot owner for getting 8 mil. What luck. <laughs> I wish that was me. I'll tell you what, the botting problem at quads is so much worse than any others. Let me hop to a random world, and I bet there are just tons of people everywhere. Or it'll be cleared out. Yeah, just look at this. All of them bots. Insane. Like, honestly, what is this? I've never seen a, like, a bot infestation like this either. Um, he's a real player, probably. It's these ones that are just words followed by three numbers. They are not real players at all. Like, bizarre. There must be hundreds of accounts here because they're all over the Rof Caves as well. Like, they're in every. There's multiple of them in every single world at every single Rev spot. It's crazy. There's so many. <laughs> Fucking hell. Another ancient crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Sixth one, sadly. I'll tell you what, I'd do well to have, like, a personal PK, wouldn't I? Anyone uh, who fancies just coming to the Rev Caves and standing close to me and scaring everyone off, that would be uh, much appreciated. <laughs> this is wild. Oops, <laughs> I just got clawed out by a guy. Um, didn't smite me, um, which is fine, because obviously I didn't even have a plus one. Um, but <laughs> put the frighteners on me a bit and lost all my revenant uh, ether charges, which is a bit gutting. Um, but yeah, so can I mass break these? Is that a thing? Or do you just... Oh, wow, is that really it? I guess I could set the left click, but wow, okay. Oh, God, that was a bit scary. <laughs> right, I think Orcs is off the table. There's just, like, a lot of PKers at Orcs. What an episode. So I would say on screen I've got the, um, you know, the goals for what we were trying to do this, this video. And I would say we've ticked off a decent percentage of them. Albeit, you know, they are some of the easier ones. Um, but... Pretty good. We've got a lot of the emblems. We've got the crossbow, which is just massive. Um, we've got kind of the easy items from Rev, some of the easier levels. But yeah, big progress, I would say. So in terms of the silver bar challenge, so I need a silver bar. These are the chunks. In fact, I'll probably just chuck a better chunk map up on the board. Uh, these are the chunks that I need to get a silver bar in. Um, you can't use any method that's on the wiki, at, at least in its traditional sense. Like, don't just go, go into the haunted mine and get one from one of the skeletons, because obviously that doesn't work. Um, it can't be a baby imp in any regard. Um, that is also kind of what I'm planning to do at the minute. So the only way is to win the one billion GP that I'm willing to offer for one silver bar is... To find me a way to train Hunter repeatedly within the chunks that I've got, bearing in mind I cannot use the dig site, uh, you know, I cannot use the Varrock mine museum method because I haven't done the dig site. 
Uh, so I need a repeatable hunter training method uh, to get to level 27 quickly. Or I need a silver bar itself. So think really out of the box, a bit like I was trying to do with the desert lizards and the fairy ring. Something akin to that is what I'm looking for. You know, hand a, hand a, t a cup of tea to an NPC and he gives you a silver bar in return. You know, these kind of out of the box things is what we're looking for. Um, and yeah, if I can... If I can get a silver bar before the next, before the release of the next video, and someone's come up with an ingenious method for me to do so, uh, they shall get one billion GP. Um, aside from that, there have been massive changes on the uh, channel members list, uh, which couldn't have come at a better time because I'm releasing some new channel emblems, uh, channel badges, I think they're called. Uh, this is just a sneak peek of the first one, so this is what you get as soon as you become a member, and then there will be even cooler ones for after that. I actually think this is pretty cool, so uh, shout out to the guy that uh, designed it, Scape Inc. Um, yeah, so the channel members as we have them now are Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim and three new channel members at the gold tier, Papa Brando, Squang and Olivette, and then even bigger moves at the uh, at the at the tiers higher than the gold tier, which is we had L Pinin upgrade his membership from gold to a legend tier, Sir Yolo come in straight at the legend tier, and the biggest one of them all, L S, who subscribed at the Torva tier, the first Torva tier member. Um, so because of that, we have released a new, even higher tier, the You Wouldn't Dare tier, which is, uh, you know, even more. And uh, I'd never expect anyone to ever click that. But I'll be honest, if there are whales watching the video and they've got nothing better to spend their money on, then my kids' Christmas presents, <laughs> I guess, is as good as core, uh, as good a cause as any. Um, so, yeah, massive thanks to the channel members, uh, you know really really couldn't do this as often and as long videos as i do if it wasn't for your guys support so thank you very much that being said we will be pressing on in the next video trying to get more revenant drops trying to fill out this collection log even more uh yeah it's looking good for for we can do well we we can improve on this for the next video i'm sure but yeah ten thousand revenants huge huge but uh yeah thanks for watching much appreciated and goodbye